Hello guys, it's AJ back again with another unboxing, and today we have Stray Kids' newest mini-album, Ordinary. The Target exclusives. I wouldn't have thought that all three versions were going to be in store. Also, a bit chunky, but if you want to know if these are in stock in your Target, I'll put the DCPI and the Rickseek information in the description so you can make sure that you're not wasting your time. Also, make sure you price match it to their website when you're checking out. So we're going to get into these and see what these exclusive photo cards Target has really look like. Because previously, Target really hasn't done any good exclusive cards. Also, if you see the camera moving a little bit more, the tripod I usually use just broke a minute ago. And pop this open inside. Looks nice. Oh, everything, I think of things, oh, wow. That is big. <laughs> that is not bi good binder sized. But there's the CD, and that is a big old postcard. And this, Lyrics. It's like a lyrics brochure. And a poster. This is gonna be way too big to fit on screen. Is this member though? No, it's full group. It's just like that one teaser photo where they all look like Shrek. It's gonna be impossible to fit on screen though. And this, member postcard. An actually decent sized postcard that can fit in the album. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here, but then stickers. Stickers look good. We got a whole pile full of stuff here. Everything is face down still. This will be the pre-order set? No, not a set. Units. I really like the design of these. Oh, are these not... It's not... Oh, so it is... It's random. I didn't really look into all the potential stuff that was going to be in these. But they look really nice. Do not know how many there are of this. Again, it's been a little while since I've looked at the inclusions of this album. I'm going to keep these out. So now we have to figure out which one of these is actually the Target exclusive. And we got Jisung in the big ol' fuzzy hat. We got Felix. Felix is my bias and the member who I casually collect, so that is awesome. Ooh. Like this, I'm always a huge fan of IDs. Class trendsetter. He looks so much older now. He grew up so much. And gray back. Another- f wow, that's a powerful Felix. That is straight from the music video. If I had to guess, maybe this is the Target one. You get a decent amount of cards in this. It's been a little while since you get like an actual nice amount of inclusions from a Stray Kids album. This whole thing, if you, I'm hoping that you've listened to it by now. Also, this is still just a dorky photo. I know it's supposed to be Frankenstein, but they look like Shrek. Um, if you haven't listened to it, you should. Absolutely. It is probably top to bottom one of their most cohesive well put together albums that they've had yet and it's it's so good i was listening to i think my main song is uh is freeze venom is also very good along with maniac but freeze is like is very much my style everyone looking at fantastic also this is they're different hair in this one changbin doesn't have the changbin's blonde in this and genjin is blonde in this very different. Also, they ch did y'all notice that they changed outfits like four times? What kind of outfit is that? Chains out for the attack. The Frankenstein version. Though, I mean, Shrek version. I love the album designs of these. I'm real. These are some of my favorite designs they've done. Since probably like I Am Who. I Am Who I'm a big fan of. Also, this does look very zoomed in because of the fact I'm using a, a different tripod I don't normally use for videos. That's, like, much lower. So this one, see the differences in the limited to non-limited. Still get the big ol' card, where we got Jong-in. Huge card. The same lyric brochure, I'm not gonna go over again. Different poster, but again, they're very big. Like... Super, super big. Like, I could never show this on camera. But this is the much better styling, though, for a poster. Postcard. Again. Oh, and I'm seeing cards fly out already, so let's just grab these. We've got Lino flying out. He's got pink eyebrows in this. And the stickers. Usually I think Jisung is who I pull the most of. So we'll see if that stays true. No, another Lino? Another one with pink eyebrows. Hyunjin's ID, where he's blonde in this. Silhouette dancer for the, tr for the class. 
Nice split. And I can in the gray card, which I think is the target one. Wants to focus. And for the packet of units... Oh, it is the same unit pack. But since we're missing members, it's obviously not the same unit pack that, like, you know, you're, that, ever, that you always get. And this one, I'm going to say, is going to probably have the best aesthetic in it. Yeah, I, I really like the aesthetic and concept in, used in this one. Has anybody else noticed the amount of different groups and soloists and stuff using that same fuzzy hat right now? Like, over the past year, we've seen so much of that fuzzy hat. Also, just like so many people on, on TikTok have already said, uh, where are these where are these goggles? Can we buy these goggles? Changbin's hair is probably my favorite that he's had. I'm just a, I, I love like the I love green highlights. Green or red highlights on anyone is usually my favorite hairstyle. Cool, cool. Also, I totally didn't expect to buy six copies of this album because I have more coming from different websites, but. Uh, with how good it is, I'm not even mad. This is definitely my favorite Stray Kids album we've gotten in a while. From top to bottom, I've liked, you know, Thunderous and God's Menu and all those were fantastic songs. But in terms of just up, up and down albums, very pleased with this one. And the final one. Inside, same, just blue. Oh, and we got Giant's postcard, Giant Postcard again. Get my tripod. That is the same brochure again. Let's see, what's the aesthetic of this giant poster? It's it's this one. I can't even get it on screen. These are so huge. Usually they don't pack these massive posters into albums. The same postcard. Stickers. The cards. So, Chan and... And Chan. Chan's also who I also pull, pull... Oh, we got the same Felix. So I'm going to assume that, yes, this is the Target exclusive Felix. And Thugman's ID. So, um, I guess I'll have a Felix up for trade. Again, uh, to anyone, because Felix is who I collect. So, that'd be to ever, anyone, I guess. And this is a different um, colored pack. Nope, it's the same one. Still want those goggles, though. Again, the unboxings just started coming out. I'm unfamiliar with how some things are supposed to be. And the final album, also loving the aesthetic of this one. What is your favorite song on the album? Leave, let me know in the comments, because I, as I've already said, I'm pretty partial to Freeze. Maniac is pretty damn good, though. I know a lot of people are, are really loving Charmer. And uh, I know that I know that Chan and Three Rats as a whole work on every album a ton, but you really don't realize how much he, like Chan himself, does till you look at like the information for these uh, for this album and realize he did. He's a part of the composing, the writing, the everything of every song except one where he didn't do the lyrics of the unit that he's not in. That is a ridiculous amount of work, my man. You need to take a nap. And those are my pulls from Stray Kids newest release, Ordinary. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I may unbox the K-Town for you copies. I may not. We'll have to see how, how I'm feeling that day. But for now, this is the Target version, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video.